Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to the final episode, what I think will be the final episode, of FNAF Ruin. Now, first and foremost, there's something I accidentally skipped over in the last video, and that was a, a few dialogue uh, lines between Cassie and Roxanne as we're about to reboot her, and everyone's pissed that I skipped over it. Listen, if there's a button prompt on my screen, you betcha I'm going to press that button prompt. So... Let's get these dialogues. Why don't we? Hello. Your special you remember day. me? I remember. Your special day. Do you still like carrot cake? No, actually. It has been some time since I saw you last. If I remember correctly, it is on the 11th. That's close. Hey, mine's on the 12th. Because you are number one. Twice. Oh, it's good. Have you booked your party? Mm -mm. I'm sure your friends will show up this time. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. See what I mean? Steel Wolf, there's a button prompt on my screen. Yeah. My monkey brain just wants to press it so doing? much. I'm gonna kill you. But then you're gonna come back like 10 minutes later. I think this was the big emotional part that uh, one of the Steel Wolf devs was talking about. Sorry, I love Carrie. Happy birthday, Cassie. Fox. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be a lot more impactful if she didn't come back literally like 10 minutes later in the in the mimic boss fight, but Lamau, get owned. <laughs> so I got a list here of a whole bunch of secrets we're going to find in this final episode of Ruin. Some of them are gonna take a really long time to get. Like there's a brand new ending. There's a way to actually see Glamrock Bonnie himself. Uh, but first up, the thing that we kind of saw in the first video, but that I want to go take another look at was actually the blob. <laughs> Wasn't the best shot, but there there he is. The like one second of screen time he actually gets in the DLC. It's so weird to me that there's so much in Hello? So much mimicry with Hello! Can I talk please? Between the mimic and burn trap, obviously. And you don't see a you don't see a lick of burn trap. Because obviously there's something going on there with the lure, but then you just straight up get the blob. So there's no, like, thing for the blob, you know, like, the mimic's the thing for burn trap, there's no thing for the blob. I'm being vague because I don't actually know the lore <laughs> between the mimic and, and burn trap. Did burn trap actually exist? I don't know, I mean, we got these, um, these comic strip panels that I've seen a lot of people kind of question. Gregory drew these, and these are representing the endings in the main game that didn't actually happen, right? So one of those would be burn trap. But it's like, you got the blob this. I don't know, it's it's confusing. But yeah, the blob shows up. And now, speaking of people showing up, Monty! Oh! It's funny, when this title screen showed up, um, I've seen a lot of people's reaction like, is that it? That's the end of the DLC? <laughs> it's like, obviously not. Like, people thought this was a, <laughs> like a thank you for playing the Ruin DLC. That'd be hilarious if we waited a year and a half just for that. Now, quite frankly, I kind of have to play through the whole DLC again because something else I want to get in this video is all of the collectibles. And I'm not entirely sure which ones I've missed, so I'm using a very handy dandy guide here. Created by Mystic Kip. I'm going to leave their video linked down below. If you're having trouble finding all the all the collectibles, you know, there's there's your video. It's a full guide. I Hello, mask bot. Mask. <laughs> God, I love you so much, man. It's weird how this isn't really explained. Like, Ma Maskbot just kind of gives out these AR masks. Anyways, our first collectible is in this very room, actually. She'd be right back here. I believe I got it, though. Wow, look at me. <laughs> Already missed it. The AR Glam Monty plush. It's hard to look at. Visually, correct. All right, well now let's go phase through these boxes. But we have to go around and deactivate every single wet floor bot. You can see, apparently, I've already done this one. And that is how you unlock Glamrock I Bonnie. That Dory was blocked. Cassie, we've been over this. We played through the whole DLC already. We got that secret. Awesome. And another secret we gotta get is actually the third and final That's ending. And we get that by using these camera stations. Around the map, there's gonna be select cameras that if we zoom out on... There is a secret camera. We click on that, and it opens a door in the Mimic boss fight chase scene. 
Now, I have no clue what's behind those doors, but apparently there's like three or four doors around camera stations we gotta find. Now, there is an AR item right here, but something I miss completely, if you take off your mask, there's another collectible. And I believe this is a comic strip. Yes, it is the van ending. Ooh, a bit of lag there. But obviously, a lot of people would miss that because, well, you gotta put on your mask anyway to get into this area, and then you're already distracted by an AR item. So a lot of a lot of people can miss that item. Right behind here is another AR item, but we got that one. I also do apologize if this video in particular, this episode ruin is kind of all over the place. There's just a lot of stuff I want to do in this last video, so... I got a full list here. I'm just gonna be reading it off and trying to find everything that we have left to do. That doesn't seem right. But I'm gonna try and leave in every map bot, every item I get just in case. If you guys are also stuck on those things, you can just watch this video, follow along. Again, I'm gonna be going start to finish basically throughout the whole DLC, so there should be no jumping around. Over here, there is yet another map bot. I believe I deactivated this one. I did not. All right, all right, in this room, there are two map bots to deactivate. Got this guy over here. Again, I'm so sorry. The crying is really disturbing. And then there's one over near the security office door. And Mexes just spawned in. Mexes, is that how you, how you pronounce it? Oh my god! They did not like the fact I deactivated them. After you open up the monitor, you'll of course see an empty space. And then once it loads in, you fall out of bounds. After you restart the game, you load back in. There's a map bot right over here <laughs> that you can deactivate. There we go. I did see some behind the scenes. Apparently when you put the mask on and off, it actually teleports you between two different... Hello. Two different maps. And every now and then, I guess the game bugs out and it doesn't know what map you're on and then it just teleports you into space. <laughs> now entering daycare, you go right up this staircase and you may think, wait, I can't use my mask. How am I supposed to get past this glitched item? Well, if you get really close to it, you can actually phase right through. And I remember in my playthrough, I'm like, oh, there's a giant cheese grater blocking my path. I couldn't get my A or a moon plush. I've never slept better than I did in the, in the daycare. That's wonderful, Cassie. You slept in the daycare? Whoa, hello. Ah, that's right. You got to go back up here, toggle it off, and now you can walk out. So interesting. It does seem like Cassie's been to not only the daycare, but like the entire pizza plex. So she knows quite a lot about this place and the characters. Hello, Moon. God, he's so sick. He's so cool, man. It was very interesting. I, I remember a, a big prediction I had for Ruin was all the characters walking around, like the entire Pizza Plex, and that didn't really happen. It was, you know, moment to moment, like Ray said. Once again, another thing. Ooh, I can't get in there. Get up really close. Now you can. But yeah, I, I was intrigued to see the path they took with what characters are active at what moment. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Because I truly thought everyone was just going to be wandering around and you had to dodge them, but... No, this this turned out way different, and honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad it did. So, anyways, now let's get past the daycare segment. I, want I wanted a lot more of the daycare attendant in Ruin, and even though this was a very small segment of the game, honestly, I think it was perfect. God, man. All right, so there's quite a few items in the daycare, actually, uh, as well as one of the map bots. So right over here, there's an item. I think it's like the sun pinata. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. I think they made like specific poses for him, like grabbing at the play structure. That is so cool. Anyways, the I think we got most of the items in the daycare, so it might be difficult for me to actually show you where they are. That's the first gen. See you later, Moon. No, we're gonna keep the sun, actually. I like the sun. He's a good guy, unlike you. You super mean. There is another item right behind this counter, which I don't believe I got. Let's take a quick peek. It's an AR item. Yeah, I didn't get it. All right. Let's see what it is. The AR sun plush. I used to have so much fun in the daycare. Okay, so, so more... Evidence that that Cassie's been to the daycare before she's been to the pizza plex before And now there is another item at the top of this play structure, which I do Think I got so I can't actually show you that 
Let's get this puzzle done. Go away, go away. Oh my god, he's right behind me. I believe if you have your mask on, you'll hear the sun's dialogue. But if you have your mask off, I believe you only hear the moon's dialogue. There you go. Case proven. Unless that's his dialogue to the generator. I'm not entirely sure. So drop down here. There's once again another map bot. I keep calling them the map bots. The wet floor bots. You know what I mean. And now... We can go deactivate his goofy ah. How are you doing? Get rebooted. hi -ah! And it's cool because we can actually see what the daycare attendant is supposed to act like towards kids. In the form of the Eclipse character. Happy birthday! Warning, warning! Child in danger! Safety mode active. Little girl, you can't be... Look at him fly around! Dangerous. I need to clean up before we can open Oh, his teeth moving is so weird. I think the audio sucked behind because the cutscene lacked. <laughs> yeah, it definitely did. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, man. Though, unfortunately, you're not going to see another child inside of that daycare because I don't think any kid would want to come into this, <laughs> this establishment now. So, a neat part about this endo section that I believe I'm also not making up is if you activate these two nodes, you don't actually need to do the puzzle down here to open the door because you can't. If you do the oh, if you do the puzzle, these guys will just kill you, so the door automatically opens up. And in here, it's of course gonna lag. <laughs> in here, there is a map bot back here. There is a AR collectible right here, which I've already gotten. How sweet! So inside the theater, right behind this uh, speaker on the left side, you've got another bot we can deactivate. And also something interesting. I believe I'm stuck. I believe I pointed out in my video. On this camera, it shows Gregory running away from Vanny. And that's actually Vanny's only appearance in hey, Ruin. Right there. He's wearing my mask. Well, they look visually pretty different. If you saw our, <laughs> like, every YouTuber's analysis trailer video, you'll know they're pretty different, Cassie. Right up here, inside of the daycare's little hideout area, there is an AR collectible. There's a few Easter eggs I want to point out, as well as yet another bot we can deactivate. So the AR collectible is right up there. You just climb up using that slope. The bot I've not deactivated is right in here. If I can jump up, there we go. And like I said, there's a few secrets. Two in particular I want to point out. There we go. Specifically, these, which are not here when you take off the mask. Now, I'm no theorist, but butters... I think, I think we all know what that's referring to. And also, if you look up, which is something I don't imagine many people would do, you get the Eclipse from the Balloon World minigame, which is absolutely terrifying. Look at him go. So he'll flash up every now and then. Sometimes he'll, like, stay for a long period of time. Kind of like right there. This guy's going to show up and ruin all the fun. Whoa. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Don't worry. All right. We are now at the Monty Catwalk. So we got this guy down here, which I believe you should be able to get through. There we go. Through the steps. Deactivate his ass. Then we got to make our way out to one of the camera stations because this is where we get our second secret camera uh, to unlock the final mini game. So right here, I believe. Well, first off, we got that chair. But I think it's this camera. If we zoom out. There. Wait. Here it is. I was like, wait a second. That doesn't look like that's the secret camera, but yeah, you just gotta zoom out a whole bunch. Uh, you are right here, and Monty is right there. Right here, there is... Don't fall, Cassie. How am I supposed to get this? Oh, I can be safe on the rail. There's another comic strip. This time of the 6 a.m. ending, I think that is, where Gregory gets into a box and then <laughs> he just kind of sneaks up on him. And there is also somewhere around here a way to get onto Monty's show stage. And behind the stage, there are a couple secrets as well as another cleaning bot. Should be right on this edge. Yes. All right, so you go down the slope, and then a door appears. And now you're underneath Monty's hologram on his show stage. And if you go out this way, you can see this little break in the wall. And you've got the Monty Shrine. Look at this. As well as a map bot you can deactivate. Just a whole bunch of Monty memorabilia cutouts, his legs even, plushies, t-shirts, just a whole bunch of stuff. His glasses as well. Oh, I wish I could take them and put them on. 
yeah, that is the Monty Shrine. And then once you come out of the tunnel, you've got yet another AR item over there. And then there's also the AR Sun Pinata uh, in the main catwalks area. But I've already gotten that. And frankly, I forget where it is exactly. All right, we are out of Monty's catwalks. We are now at the repair gondola section. And if you go right down here, right past all the other gondolas and shrubbery, I guess, you're going to find another door. Walk through here, and you're going to find yet another bot to deactivate. So, sorry, buddy. I gotta find all the secrets. Hopefully, you have a better life. Well, in the afterlife. Oh. <laughs> he came back for a quick second, but no, he's, he's out for the count. And right past this door, right before we get to the bakery, below the staircases, there is another AR item. I think it's the Foxy plush, but I have already gotten it, so up to the bakery we go. And then once we are inside the kitchen for the bakery, let's have a look around. There should be a Glamrock Bonnie plushie hiding somewhere. I think it's out this way. Seems like it. Yep, I can see it. The Glamrock Bonnie plushie. AR edition. And to actually see Glamrock Bonnie himself, like I said, gotta go around and deactivate all these guys, and you're gonna find another one right in the middle of the lower room of the kitchen. Make your way out now to the Coral Encounter. Good old Mr. Cupcake. I still love this cutscene. I watch it every time. And you have to, too. I'm leaving it in the video. Just look at my boy! <laughs> He's so cool. And also, right after this cutscene, there is our final comic strip that I have personally, but there's also quite a few more once you continue on with the game. And I think this should be comic strip number four, so after Carl knocks you down, just look behind you, there's going to be a little cubby right here in between the walls, and like I said, this is comic book page number four. Seven. Ah, oh, I'm still missing four. Uh, but that is the disassemble Vanny ending. I'm sorry, I really thought that was going to be the one I was missing, but no, apparently... There's still more to get. So once you're past Chica, you turn off the thing that's jamming your mask. Just backtrack a little bit. Right over here is going to be another AR item. That is the Chica lunchbox. Then go inside Carl's mouth. The room off to your right is going to be another one of these guys. And Mex is just spawned in, so let's get this done quick. And then, ooh, there's another one of these. The AR Foxy mask. Honestly, I haven't even gone that far in the video just yet. And there should be, yes, another one of you in this room. Help me, please stop talking to me. There's another one of these staff bots. Hello, buddy. And then right above us on that platform, there is yet another prize. And I believe it's the AR Golden Freddy plushie and I might've already gotten it. Yes, I have, but it's gonna be right there. Making our way now into the beauty salon. Hello, Roxanne. You still crying? Oh, boo hoo. Boo. You're not trying hard enough, are you? Poor Roxy. Hmm. Who's there? Not me. You can't hide from me. I can hide. Conveniently behind this box. Boy, you full of cap. So right over here, you may have already seen, there's another bot. There's gonna be another uh AR collectible right there. But I've already gotten it, so I'm just gonna turn you off. Adios. Go outside of the beauty salon right now. Go over here and admire the beauty of Roxanne, hello. But don't take too long, because there's yet another gift box over here. And this is comic book number four. There we go. And now, we gotta get out that way towards the cam station, because that is where we unlock yet another secret door to get the last ending. And apparently I... Wait a second. Alright, I've made it through now. Go out this way. There's yet another bot. I've already deactivated him. Up this way, there's yet again another AR collector. Excuse you. Another AR collectible, which I've also apparently gotten, so I'm good. Uh, I'm all set. I was not good, nor all set. Now, if you make your way towards this camera, quickly before you do the puzzle, zoom out. There is the third secret camera. And I'm gonna quickly get back to doing this, because I don't want to die to Chica again. And also right there is another map bot you can deactivate. Let's quickly run out this way, though. Get our final node. And then there is another room. Hold up, let's let Chica pass. Unless she's gonna get stuck on stuff. There she goes. This room on the right, there is once again another bot to deactivate. And I've not gotten him. Alright, so let's get him. Alright, apparently there are no secrets or items. Hello, you guys. You look great inside of the Foxy Log Flume area, as well as the area where you fight 
Monty, and then you electrocute him. So just go ahead, speed your way through those areas, and let's go back up to the raceway. If the door wants to load, right in this room, hmm. we don't care about Gregory Cassie. We don't need him. All we need is MapBot. Not MapBot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kill you guys off and I don't even say your name right. And once again, another AR collectible. And I don't think I've been reading their descriptions, but also at the same time, I feel like they're not that important. Did I even get that? Yes, I did. What did that say? What did that say? Where are you? Show me you. Here. Sleep. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Can you see why I'm not reading these? What did Bonnie say? Dad wouldn't tell me why they replaced Bonnie. Hmm, maybe I should start reading these. A prototype? Hmm, very suspicious. What were these comic books titled? Gregory must have seen that mask before. Should be an artist when he grows up. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything too, too important about the, excuse me, chair. About the description. So if I don't read all them out, I do apologize. But like I said... They don't seem that important. Hello? No, I don't need a You're not even playing your audio, man. You really don't care if I need assistance. Quiet. It's fine, Cassie. He didn't even he didn't even speak a single word. So down here, we're going to encounter Roxanne, so And also that guy apparently. Alright, let's just call you. Hello, hello. Go get him. Great Roxanne, he's not that there you go. And at some point down the line, there's going to be a one of these containers. Ro Roxanne, what? Gregory's down that way. Come on. Keep keep going. You got this. He's You're going to get him. I believe in you. All right. There she goes. Yeah, we're going to be on the lookout for one of these big crates, one of these big containers. I called it twice. So right after the first door that Roxy breaks down right over here is yet another comic. And if we continue out this way, ignoring Roxanne, it's this crate. That we're looking for, that's going to have yet another AR item. I better find him first. I know, Cassie, we're working on it, girl. And then after the second door, right before we go over there and get run over by a go-kart, there should be another bot right over this way. So I need to put my mask on. <laughs> if only I could deactivate you in the real world, I could probably just take a crowbar and bop you over the head, but this is probably a bit more peaceful for you and less aggressive for me. And now, let's go get run over. I still don't understand what the hell is happening here. Jesus. <laughs> I wonder if you can die there. That'd be pretty funny. Anyways, out this way we get encountered by Roxanne. There's a few more map bots we gotta take care of. Hello. Ah, let go, let go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ro Roxanne, calm down. Wrong guy, wrong guy. Anyways, a few map bots in here we gotta find. And Gregory's gonna be annoying the whole time, great. So, right in the back of the gift shop, there's another one of these guys. Help you can please be quiet. I'm getting some collectibles and getting some secrets. Bonnie Bull's interesting because, again, it seems like the game's bugged a bit. And the last bot you need to deactivate has to be in Bonnie Bull. Ooh, this doesn't look too friendly. There's another one of you guys. How you doing? And there should be, yes, another gift box right here. And this one should have a Faz token, weirdly enough. Now, I'm not sure if you can get an extended version of Candy Cadet's story. Because we've already used, like, all of the... Yeah, we had five Faz tokens. That's where we got the Mimic story from Candy Cadet. I wonder if we keep using more tokens if we get, uh, again, that story but extended. Or maybe another story. We're gonna have to find out. Now, in this area, there's actually another secret that I want to show you guys, and I don't know which room it's in exactly. Um, I don't think it's that one. I think that one might have one of the comic pages. It might be this room. Yeah! <laughs> so one of these rooms, if you have your mask on and then take it off, you go inside, the plush bees are here, they laugh and then they disappear when you look away. There's also some tally marks. Keep these in mind. Because we're going to see some more tally marks later on in the video. And these might be for a brand new wall code that we have to solve. But yeah, so here is the present I was talking about earlier. It's not in that room, it's the room next to it. Alright, now we can make our way up to Bonnie Bowl. And this is kind of where our secret hunting ends. Because we got the final secret camera, where you have to zoom out in Bonnie Bowl. We've got the final few floor bots that we got to deactivate in Bonnie Bowl. There's a few other collectibles we got to get in here as well. 
first one is going to be in this bathroom. It's gonna be right there on that toilet, actually. Right where that music man is, so if you're going for that prize, definitely stay on the lookout for that guy. And now, while we do this, I gotta make sure- <laughs> Look at them bouncing around. I gotta make sure I don't die, because these guys are everywhere and they are fast. But continuing to the back of Bonnie Bowl, we've got yet another floor bot to deactivate, and actually right behind him in that garbage pile, there's going to be yet another AR collectible that, again, I've already gotten, so I don't need to worry about it, but just in case you don't have it, it's going to be right there. Opening this door up, there should be a map bot right over here, and I can't use my mask just yet, so I'm gonna have to come back for you. Why do you- why do you look away from me? That's a bit rude. Yeah, I gotta deactivate that thing over there, so let me lure out these music mans. There's a bot over here near the sign of Bonnie Bull in the hallway, and this should be- Oh god, my camera's moving on its own again. <laughs> this should be our final bot to deactivate. Right now, let's head out this way, and this should be our final secret camera. There we go, doors open, now let us lure these guys away. So we can unlock this final node, and you might be able to see the floor bot is there. And the, uh, the music mans are also there, apparently. Alright, here we go. This is our final bot. And once we deactivate him, we can see Glamrock Bonnie. Yes, dude. There's also a collectible. I'm gonna take this off. Don't want any other bunnies sneaking up on us. Oh my god. Here he is. Now, I, unfortunately, I was spoiled by his model because of the tutorial. But look at the dude. It's so crazy. We actually have Glamrock Bonnie now. There's also something special you can do. You can see his eyes are all glowing and lit up. Well, if we deactivate these guys. Last one here. Remember, the eyes are glowing. You can even see them turn off if you're fast enough. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to see people actually, like, rig this model and pose him. Because I want to see what he looks like when he's not, you know, crashed and broken on the floor. But what are you doing back here, man? Here, let's get this collectible before we forget. Aira Helpy! Look at him, he's so cute. And I think that's all that's back here, so that's how you get out. But yeah, man. Ooh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Glamrock frickin' Bonnie. I really hope at some point, either in a new DLC, or in the next game, or whatever Steel Wolf does after Help Wanted 2. Or maybe, who knows, maybe he'll show up in Help Wanted 2. I just want to see Glamrock Bonnie in action, because he's just... He's such a cool character, man, and I don't want him to just be dead on the floor. I want you to do something. Oh, you can... That's <laughs> an overhead shot. Oh, poor Bonnie. We'll see you, man. It was cool seeing you as a secret character. Wow, and I called it, too. I was like... You know, not many people are talking about Glamrock Bonnie anymore, but I feels like we're gonna see him in ruin. And lo and behold, we did. Yeah, super weird when he was destroyed, they didn't bring him back to his green room. They just kind of left him in the in the back bowling alley. Here's the other tally marks, by the way. People have been busy deciphering that. A lot of fours, fives, and twos, apparently. I don't think we've solved it just yet, but if we do, I'll be sure to make a video on it. Because there's already so many secrets that, that have been solved because of Ruin. Whee! This is a trippy part of the game. And we, we fly past a few objects, like the Glitch Trap plushie. And I still don't know what the second one is. Let's have a look. It's coming up. Map bots. That's right. Maybe it was the third one then. It was like this white figure. It could be Vanny. There's a Faz gun. Maybe it doesn't show up. Oh, there it is. Hmm. If you guys know what that is, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And then we got the princess quest sword and all the enemies. Most likely meaning that princess uh, princess quest was the canon ending. So now entering Fazer Blast, instead of going that way to Freddy, let's take a left, keep going. There's another collectible right here. And in the maze itself, when you're getting the nodes, you can find the, I think it's the Freddy lunchbox, I want to say. It's some item. Uh, so cute is Helpy's description. That's nice. What is Freddy's superstar? Well, he's not my superstar anymore. Freddy! Freddy? It does say prototype on his foot. Hello, Freddy. He's so terrifying. 
<laughs> Look at him. Oh boy. Yeah, a lot of people have been questioning if he is our original Freddy from main game security breach because of that prototype riding on his foot. Um, and now I gotta make my way out of this maze before he catches me. And I don't think there's any collectibles in here. Though there is another comic book once we get into uh, that room where we are about to go into the vent with DJ Music Man. Yeah, so right in this room, if you have your mask off, there's gonna be another collectible right there. That's gonna be one of the comic books. Hello, Music Man. <laughs> Look at you. So once we dodge Music Man, right behind here is yet another Faz token. Gonna have to use that on Candy Cadet once we get down to the Mimics area. Right here, there's a glitchy wall. There's gonna be another AR item in there. And now we make our way out to the Roxanne Raceway in full, right behind these barrels of trash. I think it's here. Yes. All right, so one of the final garages, there's gonna be an item in the back. The Bonnie Lunchbox. All right, we are now in the Mimics underground lair, and all the collectibles from here on out we got in the last video, but it seems like they've reset, so we're gonna get them anyway. There's one Faz token right over here. There's another Faz token over there towards the entrance of the building. There we go, and we should, at the end of this, have seven Faz tokens. And again, I don't know if we can get more than five dialogue lines at a candy cadet because that's what I got last time and I just realized I was crouching the whole time maybe that's why it was difficult to get up on the rocks but here's our third fast token underground there's going to be a fourth one right behind this door over there's candy cadet we'll get to him in a second anyways down here why we're going to find everywhere Cassie like the inside of an oven Cassie if you played Security Breach, FNAF at Freddy's Security Breach, you would know. <laughs> yeah, that is the final Faz token. Behind this door is uh, actually our final collectible, which <laughs> saved that one for some reason. So let's have a look. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Now let's use one Candy Cadet. I would love to use the one Candy Cadet. Can I not? I can't. Wait, no, Candy. I. <sighs> Why can't I use the one Candy Cadet? Um, maybe because I've already gotten his story, but then I don't see why it would reset my tokens. I don't know. I don't think his story continues. I don't think it does. Uh, I'll have a look, though. It's weird it won't let me play the story. I mean, if you're gonna give me back my Faz tokens, let me replay the story. Whose name is that on the backpack? That's Gregory's name on the backpack. Oh my god, camera, please don't be all over the place during the... During the new endings, you may have seen in the last video, I pointed out that there was a suit towards the end of that, towards the end of the mimic cutscene, and right over there, you can't really see it, I think, oh no, you can see its shadow, you can see the trunk and the, the ears, a bit of the party hat as well, of the elephant suit. And also in that room, again, you can kind of see it towards the end of the mimic cutscene, you can see a bird suit, which kind of has like, librarian glasses on, it's kind of funny, and we should, if we've done everything correctly, see yet another new suit like i said unfortunately i've been spoiled on the design but you, me. you guys just wait you yes there it is <laughs> look at that oh this you ending this reveal Gregory. is so sick what are you complete darkness now Look at that! The suit is like all stitched together. There's the bird suit with the librarian glasses. It does kind of sound like you can hear the mimic kind of trying to mimic Roxanne as they fight. Speaking of the mimic, there they are! Look at that suit! So, from the looks of it, it seems like it's a combination of the suits inside that room and also like a lion. Oh, I gotta run now. I gotta run now. He's after me. <laughs> okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Now to get the third and final ending, if you go out that way, that's the second ending, the Fredbear ending. We should have all these doors open now. Yes. Okay, I've not seen what the actual ending is. I was spoiled on the suit, but I have no clue what happens when we go into this room. Okay, he's still after us. Okay, door shut. Button, 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 button. I wouldn't get that close to the glass. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> that 
that like inject him with something or just like pull him back? It looked like. Okay. Um. So that just happened. What the hell was that? What was that contraption? Ooh. Okay. So apparently that's the scooper ending. That didn't really look like the scooper. All right. If there's a post credit, it's gonna happen soon. But people have also pointed out how it looks very similar to the Afton ending from the main game. Hello, camera. Hello. Wait. Where do you want me to be? Where do you? I'm gonna stay here. You stay there. Um, with the mimic kind of walking up and then something grabbing him from behind and pulling him. Hmm. I wonder if that's like the, the real equivalent of what the burn trap ending was. If we've done everything correctly, if we go to chapter select, we have every single collectible from every single chapter. That means we've a hundred percented ruin. So that... Is it for gameplay videos on Ruin? I still want to do other videos kind of talking about my thoughts on the ending, my thoughts on some of the mysteries solved with Ruin, especially Glamrock Bonnie's reveal. I was not expecting Ruin to be like that. If I'm being completely honest, it was very different from what I was expecting. I don't think that's a bad thing though. I'm really glad Stuart kind of took the risk to do something completely out there, drastically different from the main game. And from just the reception, the small receptions I've seen online, it seems like it's paid off. I think I'll do a video or live stream comparing my predictions video from what we actually got in Ruin, because there are a few things I was disappointed by, uh, mainly not seeing certain characters like DJ Music Man, Vanny, Vanessa, but quite frankly, even just replaying it now for all the collectibles, it is so much fun. The gameplay can be a little repetitive here and there, just going back and forth, doing the same puzzles over and over again, but the moment to moment with the animatronics and the AR kind of make up for that repetitive gameplay anyway, so I don't really have much to complain about with Ruin. Character designs were fantastic, uh, especially frickin' Freddy. He's a standout for me, obviously. Um, the lore was certainly interesting. I think compared to most FNAF games and especially main game Security Breach, it was a lot more linear, both, you know, in the gameplay and in the lore. Feels like they really took the time to make it a bit more condensed and straightforward, which I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate that. And I'm very curious to see what this means for the future of FNAF, because this feels like, uh, I think I mentioned this briefly to some people, like the modern equivalent of Sister Location, with how much it changes FNAF going forward, because we've got the Mimic now from the goddamn books. He's officially in the game, which means Afton is theoretically officially dead. You know, we've got all this AR technology that Fazbear Entertainment has made. I'll probably, like I said, do a stream talking about Ruin with you guys going over what I thought was going to happen, what did actually happen, and yeah, I guess stay on the lookout for that because that's where I'll really get into reviewing Ruin. That's going to do it for gameplay on Ruin. Thank you so much for watching this series. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.